Hello, this video is all about traversing the DOM using jQuery. It's all about trying to find specific HTML elements based on the relation to other elements. You can find parent elements, child elements. I have this HTML set up in here to show a lot of different um, parent elements and child elements. You can see how one element is related to another because these green boxes basically show what elements contain other elements. I just have CSS that applies to everything to make this all work here. So you can see this div is the parent of this unordered list here. And you can see this unordered list is the child of the div. Here we have a bunch of children of this span. Also, all these elements here in the middle are siblings of each other. They're all on the same level. You can see that same thing in the HTML. That's how you can tell parents and children. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the JavaScript here so we can just focus on the jQuery we're gonna use. I've already added jQuery to the project. You can check my first video in the series to learn how to do that. Okay, I just pasted in some code here. We have the jQuery selector to select the, the li element. And here's, here's the new thing we're learning, dot parent. Now we're gonna get the parent of the li element and then we're just going to change the CSS. We're gonna change the colored chocolate and the border is also gonna be changed to chocolate. I just decided to use a tasty color this time. So let's run that. And you can see the parent of the li element has turned to chocolate. So here's the li element and here's the parent, the ul element. Now if I change this to span here, I run that. The interesting thing about that is there are two spans. We have the span here and we have the span here. The parent of this span is the li. The parent of this span is the other span. Another thing we can do is instead of using parent, do parents plural with an s at the end. That's gonna get all the parents all the way up to the root element. So if I run that, you can see now there's a bunch of things, even things that we didn't even know about, including this other div here, have turned to chocolate border. Now another one we can do to find parents, let's find the parent of the li element. So instead of parents here, we're gonna do parents until. So this is going to find all the elements between two. So starting at the li element and going to, let's do the div element. So let's see what happens there. Okay, so it started at the li element, it ended at the div element. Every element in between is just this ul element. Okay, the, the children method goes in the opposite direction. So instead of the parents until, I'm gonna change this to children, and we're not gonna put anything in the parentheses here, and let's run that and see what happens. And as you can see, this only is gonna traverse a single level down in the DOM tree, so we're just gonna get the span element. If there were multiple li elements, we would get the children of each of those elements. Now I'm gonna change this to span. So now we're gonna get the children of the span elements. And you can see all of these are the children of the span elements. There's a bunch of children of the, of the span elements. So inside the parentheses here, we can put specifically which child we want. So I'm gonna put h2 and then run that. And now it's only selecting the child of a span element that's an h2 element. I'm also gonna show you about find. So I'm gonna start this at ul, and we're gonna find all children after the ul element that are specific elements. In this case, I'm gonna do span. So we're gonna start the ul element, and then we're gonna find all children that are span elements all the way down. So let's run that. So we found this span and this span. And if you wanna find all children, not just the span elements, you can put an asterisk here. So it starts at the UL element, then it finds all children that are any type of element and makes them chocolate. Okay, now we're gonna talk about siblings. I was telling you earlier that all of these ones in the middle are siblings of each other. I'm gonna put H2 here, and I'm gonna use the method siblings. Nothing will be in the parentheses this time. And we get all the siblings of the H2 element. Not the H2 element, but all the siblings are now chocolate. And you may wanna just get specific siblings. So I'm gonna put P for the paragraph tag. Now we're just getting the siblings of an H2 element that are paragraphs. I'm gonna delete this here. 
We're going to keep selecting the H2 element, but now I'm going to show you the next method. So the next just gets the next sibling. So we were started on the H2 element, and the next sibling is the H3 element. And there's also next all. So we started the H2 element, and then we get all the rest of the elements afterwards that are siblings. And then we have next until. This time I'm going to start the span element. And if I go back into the HTML, you'll see that this first span element has the class child. So I'm going to do span.child to select just this span element, just the child span element and not the parent span element. And we're using the next until method, next until h3. So we start at this, this span here, and we select all the elements between the span and h3, which is just h2. If we put a paragraph tag in here, then we'll also select the h3 afterwards. So I showed you next, next all, and next until. The same things work with prev, prev all, and prev until that just gets the previous element, or all the previous elements, or a previous until an element. So I'll just give you one example of that. Just the prev. If we run that, we start this span, and the previous element is the paragraph. But again, you can also do prev all, prev until. Okay, those are all the main methods for traversing the DOM, finding parent and child elements. Check the description for a list of all the, the methods we went through. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.